Welcome to Nexatech, your go-to channel for the latest in finance and technology. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated with all our future videos. Now, let's dive into today's fascinating topic. If you thought QSTAR was dead or that we weren't going to get any more updates, think again. QSTAR did captivate the AI community for several reasons because there were so many things going on. Recently, I saw a tweet on my timeline which referenced a research paper showing how tiny large language models are actually good at maths as a frontier model. By using the same techniques that Google used to solve AlphaGo, such as Monte Carlo tree search and backpropagation, Llama with 8 billion parameters, Llama 3, scored 96.7% on the math benchmark GSM 8K. This is better than GPT-4, Claude, and Gemini with 200 times fewer parameters. This is a pretty crazy revelation because it wasn't something expected so soon. The entire framework of applying search to LLMs is still in its early stage. Initially, when we went from GPT-3.5 to GPT-4, there was a lot of talk about this being explored. Now we see that it's being explored, and the results are truly impressive. Let's dive into a bit of this research paper. If you don't remember, QSTAR was basically some kind of groundbreaking development around the time Sam Altman got fired. An article spoke about how OpenAI made a breakthrough before Sam Altman got fired, which stoked excitement and concern. The crazy thing about QSTAR is that it was able to solve math problems it hadn't seen before, an important technical milestone. A demo of the model circulated within OpenAI in the weeks following, and the pace of development alarmed some researchers focused on safety. The team working on this discovery were developing ways to allow LLMs like GPT-4 to solve tasks involving reasoning, like math, or science problems. In 2021, they launched a secret project called GPT-Z, a nod to DeepMind's AlphaZero program. This isn't a fundamentally new idea. Top researchers have considered this before. They hypothesized that by giving large language models more time and computing power to generate responses, they could develop new academic breakthroughs. The paper states that they used GPT for accessing GPT for level mathematical Olympiad solutions via Monte Carlo tree search with self refinement with Llama 3, 8 billion parameters. Monte Carlo self refined algorithm integrates Monte Carlo tree search with large language models, abstracting the iterative refinement process of mathematical problem solutions into a search tree structure. Nodes on this tree represent different versions of answers, while edges denote attempts at improvement. The workflow adheres to Monte Carlo research algorithm patterns, similar to AlphaGo. Andre Karpathy spoke about using Monte Carlo tree search in his talk about language models. He explained that an AI system searches over all possible configurations before making a move, then searches again for the next move. This process allows the system to plan many steps ahead, which was key to AlphaGo's success. On the GSM 8K benchmark, Llama 3 with 8 billion parameters achieved 96.66%, almost 97%, outpacing frontier models like GPT-4 and Gemini. This is impressive considering the smaller size of Llama 3. Karpathy's talk highlights that in the future, we need this kind of searching capability to improve models. Combining LLMs with search represents a significant advancement in AI capabilities. This integration allows systems to surpass human performance by self-improvement, a technique proven effective in AlphaGo. However, the challenge with LLMs is the lack of a clear reward criterion for language tasks, unlike the straightforward win-slash-lose reward in games like Go. Applying search to mathematical and reasoning tasks shows promising results. For instance, the AlphaCode 2 paper, which combines LLMs with search and re-ranking mechanisms, performed 85% better than competition participants. This indicates that combining LLMs with advanced search algorithms can significantly enhance performance, although it remains compute-intensive and costly. The potential of combining LLMs with search is immense, but compute costs remain a challenge. Future systems could leverage these techniques to achieve superhuman capabilities, but optimization and cost reduction are necessary for practical applications. In summary, the advancements in integrating Monte Carlo tree search with LLMs like STAR indicate a promising future for AI. These developments could lead to significant breakthroughs, potentially surpassing human performance in various tasks, including mathematics and reasoning. As research progresses, we can expect to see more impressive results and applications of these advanced techniques. Before we continue, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Hicks, the innovative no-code AI platform that helps you create powerful AI applications without writing a single line of code. 
Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Hicks provides you with the tools you need to bring your AI projects to life. Sign up today using the link in the description and get a special discount on your first month. Hicks, AI made simple. Thank you for watching Nexatech. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in finance and technology. See you in the next video.